Hello, it's your boy Vicious for Life back with some more Madden NFL 21 action. This time we got the Buccaneers and the Bills and some head-to-head -head online rank. This one it goes down to the wire. We end up going to OT where it has a very surprising ending. That being said, if you like what you see here, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm committed to giving you more Madden NFL 21 content as the year goes on along with other things. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this matchup and is there any other matchups you want me to kind of upload or showcase. That being said, let's get right to this video. Alright, okay, okay. So right now we're doing Bucks against the Bills. This should be a highlight. Buccaneers have been having a pretty good season, so have the Bills, so these are two powerhouse teams that I have a chance to uh, mess around with. Alright, coming out on defense here, let's start with an easy two-man under. To start out the game, just something small, simple. Don't need to overcomplicate it. Able to stop Fournette with a nice little coverage tackle. Or I should say just regular tackle. It's like whenever you play against the Bucks, you're just wondering when the pass is going to come. I'm going to send some heat at him just because I want to see if I can get Brady unsettled in the pocket. He still continuing to run this time with McCoy, but we're still able to uh, pretty much stuff it up. Get him to dirt down. He comes out an empty base right here. I really am not a fan of this offense. I see it a lot now because they have that one route that does that ridiculous streak. But he gives me a nice pick for some reason because he throws right at me. So, you know, not, not good awareness on his part. Coming out of offense, wide open tight end, you know, easy money. On this second of four, just want to establish more control here. Going to do a little run just to see if I can get something from it. Able to get decent blocking and Devil Singletary gets me a first down, baby. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. You know, I'm going to try and do a screen just because I want to see what would happen. I think he's coming out a lot of zone lately. Able to get decent blocking here, but unfortunately Devil Singletary gets tackled before he can get to the first down marker. So coming out of office again, I got my power back, Zach Moss, in the game because I want to do a run now to see if I can get some yards off that. Don't! Interesting sequence, but I somehow managed to not get the first down and it's only inches. <laughs> this time, man, I got my bit ugly and my fullback in there. I got Zach Moss. I'm telling myself, just follow 86, just follow 86, and that's what I do for the first down. Give him a little redemption for that, uh tackle he got earlier before the line of scrimmage here now I want to be a little tricky with it Josh Allen can run do a little read option I see that he's going for it and I get Josh Allen wide open on that read option for the touchdown baby let him know where we from let him know where we from man gotta love the RPO action in this game is I feel like if you know how to do it well there's so much dividends to your offense it really is Alright, he's coming back on offense. It's fresh from the pick. Let's see what he's going to do this time. Still stumbling two man under here. Just something basic. He wants to get him doing the run of Fournette and we're able to kind of get him down before he gets a major game. So far, hell, Fournette the two to seven yards, which is good, good, good. I really want to make him throw because I know if you're a Buccaneers user, that's what you want to do. You want to throw. This time he's coming out a strong po, a strong pro. I got a cover one defense going here. Just as something I can use to attack the run and also somewhat attack the pass. As you can see here, Rona Fournette, he gets a good blocking on the outside and he might, nope, not fast enough, but he got really good penetration on that run. First and 10 start of the second quarter. Still in man coverage here. Got a little blitz going. Want to be Trent Murphy to see if I can get off to get toward the quarterback. Ends up running it, but we pretty much submerge him. He does get seven yards, but they were all going towards the halfback, so I'm not upset at it. He's out here in strong pro again. I'm doing my zone blitz here because I don't fully believe he's going to run. Of course, he does run, but he runs right into my blitzing safety. He's in his empty base again. Once again, not a big fan of this defensive play. There's so many things you have to look for. I'm pressing Mike Evans with Javius White. Not sure that's a great idea, but he's my best corner, so gotta believe in him. Throw the Gronk, but he drops it. You see, I pretty much had that predicted. Surprise, he's going for it again on fourth down. I'm calling my same man coverage, pressing Mike Evans, and I'm playing in the middle. I'm looking at Gronk and Evans as an outside can go for. He actually surprises me here and ends up going to Godwin on a slant. Did not expect that and kind of went towards Mike Evans, so he, I had to give it up.
now he's kind of in almost the same formation at the red zone which leaves plenty of options to pick from I'm just calling the zone here just to give man coverage a break just because of that streaky slant he got as you can see he's gonna audible now to a formation where his running back can come in under the center this is one of the new abilities of 21 this year and he pretty much gets it because I'm in a dime formation this goes on why I, I, I'm not a big fan of that formation, but I get it. It's part of the game. What can you do? Coming out now, he's in free down lineman. I am going to be passing. Just trying to so I can get any yards. Get hit as I throw, and this man, Josh Allen, <laughs> throws a pick six. It's not really his fault. It's mine for throwing out the sack, but you see how the tie the game's changed already. I got my uh, pick, and he got a pick. And now he's leading. So, all right, I have to recover from my bonehead and move. He's still a free down lineman. This is always a good time to try some run, just because I have more defender or more blockers than he does. Able to get a decent amount of yards. Don't get a breakaway run, but it happens. Still gonna do no huddle to keep him out there. This time to make it a little bit more shiftier, though. I am going to audible to a passing play to make him believe. But then I think to myself, you know what? Just run it down the gut. Don't make it harder. <laughs> And we're able to get a first down with Devin Singletary. So this is really to get him out that free down lineman. Um, here, going to do a halfback draw because once again, free down lineman. Able to get a decent game, but Singletary gets rocked. Going to no huddle here just because I see the free down lineman. I'm actually going to try and do an RPO. And I actually get it, but not the first down. Inches. I'm going 40 as free down lineman. I'm thinking this dude is foolish right here. Who does free down lineman on an inches call? But look at that. Went the wrong way. Trying to avoid the down linebacker, I went the wrong way and I end up getting stuff. So now we're back here on defense. He has a minute and 13 seconds left and we're just praying that we can prevent him from scoring another touchdown. Does a run on McCoy gives a great game and he is cooking. Coming back out here on this second down, just calling the zone coverage play. Trying to control that linebacker so if he does a screen, I can easily get to it. Downfall of these like cover free type plays is you don't really get a lot of um, pass rush, which as you can see there, he just does a dump off to McCoy and gets an easy first down. Didn't have anyone in the flats there, so made that really easy for him to get. Split guns close, doing a cover free out of double A just because I want to make him feel like I'm going to be running or rushing him with a blitz. Ends up doing a screen, but we actually kind of stop it from going really, uh, you know, getting a whole bunch of yardage, so that helped out. And we got the hit stick, McCoy, which is a uh, benefit. An empty base again. Once again, I'm aligning Tredavious to go to Mike Evans. I'm trying to keep the middle under wraps here. He's like he's gonna do multiple routes to attack the middle. And he tries Mike, he tries Tredavious again, and Mike Evans not able to come down with the catch. He basically I shaded him to the right and then he did a streak, but Tredavious is able to still put him in a compromising position. Alright, so down 10, coming out to half. Got a lot to prove here. Want to get back into the game. Do a play action because I assume he's used to me running by now. Throw it up here, and I thought this is going to be a pick, but Stefan Diggs somehow comes back to this ball and catches it. Insane. Bells me out. Bells out Josh Allen. Wow. I know he's upset at that. <laughs> Trying to get off this run of having free down linemen, I'm going to run the ball. Able to get some decent gains here. Not quite the first down, but, you know, still uh, still a good four yards. Big third and six here, down by ten. Really got to put points on the board. See that he's in free down lineman again. I've already decided on myself this is four down territory. End up going with the halfback running. Singletary would have had it because he saw him trying to reach for it, but unfortunately that second tackle came in and basically shored him up. Fourth down and two. I have my routes that I want to run. Got one drag. I got a good... Um, middle out so I'm just gonna go for it why not X is wide open end up taking the easy conversion and we're able to get a first down and more coming back out here I'm actually in a halfback screen because from what I remember earlier the screens have been working he's controlling his user so that basically makes me hesitant to throw and I end up eating a sack here from Sue Ugh. 
coming right back out flood concept play here he has Jason Pierre Paul on coach for some reason I end up going to B and B has no shot none nada I think that was John Brown just gets a little buoyed out the air here I actually just put Gabriel Davis over Cole Beasley for some reason not sure why just want to really get into field goal range if I best I can try to just make some audibles where I hope a route will come open I see that man Stefan Diggs and just throw it to him that's pretty much what Josh Allen does in real life <laughs> so here I'm just gonna end up taking the free down 10 minute and 35 seconds left in the third quarter we cannot let them score here we got to try and do what we can to basically be able to get back into this game I'm coming out in a zone blitz and McCoy is just still running <laughs> out here in a strong pro formation just trying to see if I can get anything to stop the run two men under really putting my people up because I know the run is coming and Fournette is just a dog man just took that little small yard to just power through what can you do here I'm doing a cornerback blitz I have my N QB contain in case he runs a Tom Brady. Thinking back now, I'm like, Tom Brady doesn't ever really run. I should have just let that man go with a blitz. But here we are. Uh, he's doing his audibles here. I audible the man because I don't trust um, the zone defense. And we actually get a delay. He actually gets a delay a game. And I think it's partially my fault because I was the corner. So I didn't get lined up in time. <laughs> so now he has a little bit more space. But now I'm sending heat at him. I'm sending heat. I'm letting Brady know from the jump he's about to be uncomfortable. He does a run, which is okay. You know, luckily my corner was able to kind of diagnose that and, and get to him before he got even more of a gain. But I really wanted that pass. I really did. He's coming out here in guns split close pack. Fourth quarters began. Only got five minutes to try and get this game tied up or win. Doing cornerback blitz here. And he's able to Ooh, Gronk dropped it. Ooh. That's not Gronk like. That's not Gronk like. Big third of 10 here, he's once again back in empty base. I am shading with my guy White on Mike Evans. And I am looking at the middle of the field to make sure that we have coverage, guys. Um, not sure why he keeps going back to this play, but you know, I'm not gonna argue it. And I got Godwin bulled up and he ah! throws a pick right to me. Mr. Brady, why you wildin? So Trayman got two picks this game. Wild. Coming back out here, I'm running, I'm throwing out of a run formation. A is wide open, end up throwing to Mr. Knox, and we take our first down and get a little extra two for interest. Coming back out here in another run formation, I see free down lineman. Not sure why he hasn't learned yet. I will run on this all day. All day. And look at that. Nice little gain there said hey you gonna keep going at it I'm gonna do a no huddle and now he's trying to alter it he's, he's trying to put people to plug the holes but at the end of the day still free down lineman and I ended up doing a play action anyways mr. John Brown for the touchdown here we go cornerback blitz still have that dude to contain not sure why but we're gonna go for it anyways and he runs with Fournette Playing a little scared, you know, you open up with the pass. Come on, you're the Buccaneers. Pass the ball. Pass cover or pass looking set. I'm in a double A. Man coverage, just trying to see if I can fool and make him think I'll be the blitz center playing zone. Ends up taking a whole lot of clock here to where he gets another delay a game before he can get a timeout off. So we'll take that. We'll take that and won't even ask twice about it. So here we are once again. Empty base set. I'm actually calling a little blitz now to try and see if I can stir up the pot. See, he wants Mike Evans. Unfortunately, he was able to get it to him before I could even have any reaction to that animation. Because, I, I trust me, I wanted to pick. I wanted that pick bad. Still coming out an empty set here. Going back to the old reliable to contain. He somehow got um, Tredavious. Oh, he reversed it. Gotcha. He reversed it and takes a short dump off to Scotty Miller. I also have... <laughs> slanted Scotty and look at white light is just battling Evans he's not letting Evans have nothing this game and I love it I love it you can tell that's like his big advantage and with 
White taking him out the game, he has no idea what to do. And now White has his X Factor shut down. So I'm actually just doing my normal routine of shading him. And he goes deep here for three. Get over here. Ends up throwing a pick pick. Gotta love it. Desperation. Had no reason to be a desperation. Or desperate, but yep, here he is. So now we get the ball back and it's our goal to try and to try, I say, to put this away. Put this whole game away. Alright. Coming out here with some inside cell action. Try to be patient, just looking to see what's available. End up doing a run with Josh Allen, and I tried to slide, but he ended up doing the dive. But luckily, he got tackled for the dive to even start, so we end up not fumbling. And I take a quick timeout because I only have 49 seconds left. Three here is halfback screen. He's playing a lot of zone, hoping I can kind of catch him for a decent game. Unfortunately, he's using Barrett, and he ends up covering him, giving me an intentional grounding. Going with a bunch play, just to see if I can make anything happen. Have A, he somehow manages to get the first down. Barreling through defenders. That boy knocks, man. We're still in business here, have 30 seconds of one timeout. He's still in free down linemen, covering deep. And wow, it ricochets off the cornerback's hands into my wide receivers. I don't think I was aware that time was still going here. And I used my last time out, thankfully. But yeah, what a crazy sequence of events. Here we are in gun tight slot. The goal here is to try and to get to the outside so I can maybe attempt to get a field goal. Cole Beasley has almost everything blocked up, but he can't get out of bounds. We wanted to spike it, but he couldn't get there, so now we're in OT. Sheesh. So my opponent gets the ball back. We're in OT. Touchdown wins it. Field goal gives me a shot here. He's going to take it out with Mr. Mikens, and boom! Put a little coffee in your cup. We get a fumble, and that's a fumble six, and the game is over it. Oh, man, I had to clip that. I had to clip that, so I was so hype. <laughs> the, the very anticlimactic ending, but also a great ending for all the fighting that we were doing. Um, you know, had to hand out my GGs. Didn't expect to even come down or even win that way. It sucks for him because the ball gets taken out of his hands before he really has a shot with his offense, but hey. On kick returns, you have to remember to play smart, cover up, because people are trying to knock your head off. And that dude got his head knocked off. And that's going to do it, folks. If you like what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.